Greetings, my name is Mateo Montalegre, and today I'm going to be presenting the article A Novel Mathematical Approach for the Truck and Drone Location Routing Problem. This paper was developed by Laura Castro, Laura Malagón, Paola Miranda, myself, Mateo Montalegre, with the direction of Dr. Elin Solano and Dr. Carlos Vega. We are all part of the International School of Economic and Administrative Sciences of the University of La Sabana, located in Chia, Colombia. This presentation is going to showcase an introduction to our paper, the literature review that we performed to you to do this paper, then the problem definition that we showcase and the assumptions that we used to then present the mathematical formulation used to solve this problem, the computational experiments performed with this mathematical formulation, its results, and then conclusions and suggestions for future research on the matter. First of all, we need to consider that in the case of the US, we are seeing that most of the greenhouse gas emissions are generated by transportation activities. Due to this fact, we are seeing a great opportunity on how to reduce the emissions generated by a whole country if we can reduce the emissions generated by the transportation activities. Because of this, we are having a question for our research, that is, what could be the impact on CO2 emissions of using UAVs into a last mile delivery vehicle routing problem for parcel deliveries? Using this type of vehicles, we consider can have a very important impact on the reduction of emissions generated by the whole distribution activity. And we wanna prove this through mathematical experiments. The main contribution of this paper are the following. First, introduce a new variant of the location routing problem using drones. Also, analyzing the efficiency that using UAVs deliveries on the reduction of emissions for a whole distribution process. And finally, how combining the advantages of both drones and trucks in parcel delivery operations can have advantages for the companies and institutions performing parcel deliveries. The literature review that we performed for this paper was based on the paper performed by Rojas, which is a literature review of vehicle routing problems, including drone, published between 2005 and 2019. Therefore, what we looked at, it's for our own literature review, we reviewed the papers, including vehicle routing problems that involve drones, published after 2019. What we found in Rojas' literature review, it's that the most common optimization objective was time, Second, it was distance. The third most common objective was cost. And the fourth most common objective was coverage. In the results for our literature review, we see that time took even a bigger participation on the optimization objectives in the papers that we reviewed, taking a second place, the cost, a third place, the quality of service, and a fourth place, the coverage. So we see here an opportunity in the gap of non of the papers taking into account the CO2 emissions generated by the distribution as an optimization objective. The problem definition and the assumptions that we used were the following. We used the problem that it's a location routing problem that involves a heterogeneous fleet of trucks and drones, which seeks to minimize the CO2 emissions generated by the whole distribution process. For the CO2 emissions calculations, we use the MEAT model, which is explained in the Demir, Bektas, and Laporte paper that we referenced. The trucks that we are considering, it's a specific truck of a specific weight so that we could use a specific formula from the MEAT model. And the drones that we considered were a specific drone with a specific battery lifetime so that we could take into account the length that the drone could travel. Then the problem is defined as the following. We have a central depot from which drone, trucks can depart, not drones, only trucks. The trucks can go either to a customer or to a parking lot so that when they go to a customer, they serve the customer. And when they go to a parking lot, it's due to the fact that they need to stop there carrying the drones and the drones can depart from the parking lot to serve a customer and instantly get back to the parking lot. The drones cannot serve more than one customer in one trip. They need to get to a parking lot before going to serve another customer. In the case of trucks, they can either go only to customers or they can have a hybrid approach stopping both in customers and parking lots. The mathematical formulation used for this problem is the following. 
we looked to minimize C, which is C, it's the CO2 emissions generated by the whole distribution process. The CO2 emissions were calculated as a coefficient of CO2 emissions generated by each vehicle type per unit of distance, multiplied by the total amount of distance covered by that type of vehicle. The sum of the total amount of emissions generated by each type of vehicle is the total amount of emissions generated by the whole distribution process. We used a very small number of emissions as the coefficient for the drones. As a matter of fact, the drones do not generate any type of emission, but we wanted to experiment what would happen with the model if we gave a very small number to the drones to not make it as easy to choose the drones as a medium of transport. This is a mixed integer linear programming model that was used to assign the best location of the parking lots that should be visited, and then to select the best routes to serve the customers, either by a drone or by a truck. Then we can see the results for our computational experiments. So we have three different sizes of problems. We have a problem with 10 customers, we have a problem with 15 customers, and we have a problem with 25 customers. Also, we looked at five different sizes of fleets, starting on four trucks and five drones, and getting up to 12 trucks and 13 drones. To have the possibility to contrast results between different optimization objectives, we looked at the situation of having an optimization objective as distance, and second, we took into account the optimization objective as emissions. This way, we could actually see what part it played to have um, CO2 emissions as the main minimization objective. What we see in the following tables are the results for our computational experiments for the 10 customer size of the problem. What we can see is when we are optimizing distance, the problem do not use any type of drones. Then when we are taking into account the CO2 emissions, the problem instead starts using a good amount of drones, taking into account the total size available of the fleet of drones. We can see that from the smallest of the fleet sizes to the biggest of the fleet sizes, the problem starts using more and more drones. And at the same time, the CO2 emissions start to be lower. For 15 customers, the results are pretty similar. When we take into account distance as the optimization objective, we are seeing that trucks are the only selected fleet used for distribution. But when we take into account CO2 emissions as an optimization objective, we see that drones start playing a very critical role. Why? Because the trucks maintain or keep being a very small amount compared to the total available in the fleet but the drones keep being used more and more the bigger the fleet gets. When we get to the 25 customer size, then we see that the drones are actually used at the maximum amount available for the fleet, starting with five drones and getting up to 13 drones. For all of these tables of results, the instances that do not have any type of result were due to the fact that the computational time that we had to solve this problem was not enough to find a feasible answer. Also, we want to take into account that the more the drones were used did not mean it was the less of the missions generated. Seeing that the optimal of these five scenarios for the emissions results was a mix of nine drones and four trucks. We considered that adding one truck more did not help even though it allowed to use more drones. We want to showcase three examples of the distribution process that would be done with these solutions. First, for the 10 customers instance, we see that the trucks are covering a small area, taking into account the customers that are closest to the parking lots and to the central depot. And in the case of the customers that are on the extremes of the map or are farthest away from the depot, they are served by drones. This is reasonable taking into account that the more than a truck needs to cover in distance, the more emissions it would generate. 
Also, if we take into account the possibility of having traffic or other type of obstacles, the drones keep being a more efficient solution. For the 15 customers instance, we are seeing a similar approach where drones are approaching and serving the customers that are the farthest away from the central depot. And the trucks are serving the customers not only that are closer to the central depot, but closer between them, which can be explained by the fact that trucks have the ability to serve more than one customer in the same trip and that they can serve a customer without having to get back either to a parking lot or to the, or to the central depot. In the case of the 25 customer instances, we see that the drones play a key role covering for all the north of the map and also that the trucks are covering customers that are pretty close between them, keeping up the hypothesis that the trucks being able to cover more than one customer in the same trip it's really useful for customers that have a route that can be covered in very short, short distance. The conclusions that we found is that the reductions that we can find in the experiments that we made are between 20 and 15% compared to using only trucks for the distribution process. This should be further analyzed so that we can keep generating relevance about the use of drones in parcel deliveries. Also, we want to intend for all the future research, the possibility of taking into account the traffic congestion, which could be another interesting factor to take into account to improve the efficiency of drones or to make it more clear for all the companies and institutions performing these type of activities. Also, the possibility that drones have to avoid the disruption of roads, such as accidents or road closures. Also, we want to take into account that, that drones that could serve more than one customer on each trip could make it even more efficient for the distribution processes. And finally, how different sizes of trucks and drones perform would be really interesting to be watched in experiments to actually check the impact that drones can have in different situations for parcel delivery activities. This whole paper looks after to generate an new topic and a new optimization objective to take into account when using big routing problems using drones. Therefore, we can not only improve the way that we do parcel deliveries, but also the environmental impact that we generate with those. Thank you.